Well, a former top aide to then White House Chief of Staff John Kelly denying a report from the Atlantic magazine that President Trump called fallen American soldiers, quote, losers and suckers. That's according to Breitbart. It comes as President Trump's allies are defending him following the report in the Atlantic. I would be offended, too, if I thought it was true. Uh, again, uh, I think anonymous are the same people that brought you uh, fake heart attacks, fake strokes, um, Russian collusion. I think this president has enormous respect for the military and for the generals. And I've, I've been at the tank at the Pentagon with him. I've been at 9-11 at the Pentagon with him. This president respects and supports the U.S. military. My experience with the president has been he's been ex extremely respectful, exactly what you would expect a president in regard to any reference, any conversation, um, you know, in, in regard to the military. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin reporting live from the Pentagon. So, Jennifer, any word from your sources on this new development? Well, Arthel, I think it's important to mention that Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, who you just heard from, was in the tank meeting at the Pentagon on July 20th, 2017, when the president berated the Pentagon four-star generals, calling them losers and dopes and babies. Quote, you're all losers, Trump said. You don't know how to win anymore. I wouldn't go to war with you people, Trump told the four-star generals. Addressing the room, President Trump exclaimed, you're a bunch of dopes and babies. So when Mnuchin says he has never heard the president speak that way of the military or to generals, that's patently false. I confirmed with people who were present at the meeting the president used those exact words in the Pentagon. I also circled back with my sources this weekend who confirmed that the president did not go or did not want to go to the Ain Marne Cemetery in France to honor the American war dead when he could no longer fly by helicopter and, and that one of the president's favorite words, which he uses when he is angry, is loser. My sources include two senior former Trump administration officials who were on the trip to France. My source did not hear the president call those buried in Ain Marne losers or suckers. The source did, however, say when the president spoke about the Vietnam War, he always said it was a stupid war. Anyone who went was a sucker. According to this source, the president would often say about American veterans, what's in it for them? They don't make any money. The source said it was a character flaw of the president. He could not understand why someone would die for their country. Not worth it to him. Separately, during a White House planning session after seeing the Bastille Day parade in France, President Trump did not, not want to include in his July 4th parade, quote, wounded guys. That's not a good look. Americans don't like that. That's according to this source who was present for those planning meetings. Regarding the trip to the French cemetery, I'm told the president, quote, was not in a good mood. He was furious at French President Macron. He questioned why he had to go to two cemeteries. Why do I have to do two? John Bolton said on camera that he didn't hear those comments and that the decision not to go to the cemetery was weather related. In this case, I'm told Bolton was not in the room where it happened. Arthel? Hey, Jennifer, quickly, do you think we'll hear uh, public remarks from uh, Generals Kelly and Mattis? I don't know. I know that they have been asked um, uh, and rhetorically, and in fact, the president has called out at least one of them at the podium from the White House. Uh, but, you know, it is my understanding from talking to multiple uh, military sources this weekend uh, that it is unlikely that many of the former or current serving members of the military want to come on the record and speak about what they saw. Uh, in various situations that at times alarm them. They want to keep the military apolitical, and that is what everybody is trying to do, who I've spoken to uh, in recent weeks and months. Uh, they don't want the military to get dragged into this. And one other quick point. The president has been very good to veterans. He's given the, the Pentagon almost a blank check of $738 billion, but he views the relationship with the Pentagon as transactional, and he expects complete loyalty he likes to use the military as props, and that's what my sources have been telling me. Yeah, to and you. to be clear, to be clear, I am not at all suggesting that Generals Mattis and Kelly are your sources. I have no idea who your sources are. I just know you have good sources. Uh, so those are just two people I thought would be interested to hear, interesting to hear from on this subject. Jennifer Griffin, thank you very much for your great reporting.